Larry, hi, hi, how are you, Sal? How about a hand for your host, Larry King, everybody? Thanks, Sal. You always say nice things about me. We've done a few of these together, and you're always a little less funny each time. This isn't a roast, but if it was a roast, ladies and gentlemen, I would say Larry King is to comedy what Martin Luther King is to comedy. I'm trying. I love you guys already, no matter what happens. This is my fifth or sixth Friars Roast, and uh, I was here last year. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud. There's a lot of young faces in the club here and in the club in New York, and uh, we need that. I'm, part of, I'm proud to be part of this resurgence of young blood. We needed it just a couple of years ago. If you walked in the Friars, there were no children, but yet there was still a diaper-changing station in the men's room. <laughs> Our secret handshake looked like this. I realize a lot of you don't know me, but uh, if you've never seen me before, you should know that I'm chairman of the Young Friars Committee. I'm also chairman of the Black Friars and Hispanic Friars Committee. <laughs> Mr. Hefner, Hugh, I'm going to call you for the sake of the roast. You know, the Friars only roast the ones we love, and uh, to be the guest of honor at a roast like this really is like the getting the Academy Award of Comedy. It really is a special night. My one regret is that the great Tony Curtis isn't alive to see this. <laughs> Larry, you're a gambler. What's the over-under on Tony Curtis? It's funny, right? God bless him, Tony Curtis, everybody. A man who's been acting so long, his SAG number is three. Tony Curtis joined SAG when it was still called Firm. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize this, but early in his career, Tony uh, performed the works of Shakespeare. He also taught Shakespeare and attended Shakespeare's bar mitzvah. <laughs> Look at this place. Tony Curtis, Jack Carter, Red Buttons. I've seen younger faces on cash. This isn't a roast, it's a rot. I feel like the patch on an old pair of corduroys. Seriously, all kidding aside, it's nice to be here at the Hollywood Wax Museum. Before I get to uh, Hugh or the rest of the day, I just want to talk for a moment about the boyish good looks of Larry King. Or as Ted Turner calls him, the hunchback of CNN. <laughs> Poor Larry, his Hebrew name is Yech. <laughs> this is the face that made Ellen gay. Larry, all kidding aside, you're, you're married again, your wife is gorgeous, you're gonna be a, a, she's gonna have your grandson in a couple of months, and uh... <laughs> All I ask is that things are good for you, I want you to take care of yourself, I really do. No more heart attacks. For years, when I heard the name Larry King, I was reminded of some other kings, such as Drink King and Smoke King. <laughs> I know you're in a great relationship now. You have cute little pet names for each other. You call her your fuzzy little teddy bear, and she calls you big old cash machine. <laughs> I hope this one works out. You've been married, what, five, six times? Larry doesn't go to bars to meet chicks, he goes to temp agencies. His last ceremony was conducted by Mills Lane. Too hip, too hip. Anyway, President Clinton couldn't be here tonight, he's house-sitting for Hugh. 
Milton Berle couldn't make it tonight, but his penis is backstage signing autographs. <laughs> the man who put the word cock in Aldacaca. <laughs> Rich Little, that was amazing. That was great. I never saw you live before, and that was really great. <laughs> if this were a roast, if this were a roast, I would say that Rich Little, a man I grew up watching until I was old enough to realize he wasn't funny. <laughs> oh, stop it. Where's Martin Landau? He's my all-time favorite. How are you, pal? One of the best actors in the world, everybody. Ed Wood's one of my favorite films, it really is. But that last one, Rounders, I got a, a, I'm sorry, pal. That movie left the theater so bad, Wait, I fucked it up, hold on. That, Rounders. That movie left the theaters so fast they held a premiere at a blockbuster. <laughs> it's still playing? Well, there you go then, nobody knows it. I'm only teasing. Joe Vitarelli, how are you, pal? I love you, how you doing, pal? I'm not gonna make fun of Joe Vitarelli because seriously, uh, what can you say about Joe Vitarelli that hasn't already been said by some guy in the witness protection program? <laughs> with nine fingers. <laughs> All kidding aside, Joe Vitarelli is my favorite actor or else. <laughs> Red Buttons is gonna be coming up in a, in a short while. The man I worship, a living legend, everybody, Red Buttons. <laughs> a man who's been doing comedy so long he lost to Mark Twain on Star Search. A man who's been doing comedy so long, he's his own influence. He was nominated to the club by Friar Tuck. God bless you, sir. I, I don't know if you remember this, but the first time I, I saw Red Buttons was uh, back in New York. I was walking around downtown, and uh, you never know what you're gonna see in New York. I saw, I saw Red Buttons in an antique shop, 800 bucks, and... Uh, <laughs> Norm Crosby, too, that was awesome. You destroyed, pal. One of my idols, a living legend, a man who's been doing comedy so long, he did the Ed Sullivan Show pilot. <laughs> His jokes are so old, the punchlines are in Latin. <laughs> now let's talk for a second about the great Hugh Hefner, or as I called him in high school and most of college, my right-hand man. <laughs> Shake the hand, pal. Oh wait, it's the left, hold on, I see. Oh, look at this crowd. Hugh Hefner is around beautiful women all the time. Folks, this is not a big night for Hugh Hefner. This is a big night for me. I nearly had an orgasm when I got the invitation. I never, I'm hung like a Tic Tac. I have an innie. If I get excited, I get a stomach ache. Hugh Hefner scores so easy, he fantasizes about dinner and a movie. <laughs> You're a lady killer, you really are. You're a heartbreaker. One of your girlfriends once told me, Hugh Hefner is such a putz, Viagra makes him taller. <laughs> you, congratulations on, uh, on everything. Thanks for being a good sport. And uh, because of people like you, pushing the envelope with the... Uh, with uh, free speech, it enables people like me to do what I do, and I appreciate it, and God bless you.